What's up everyone? Long time no see. How's everybody doing? How am I doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Oh, so you aren't depressed? No. No? <laughs> voices here, voices here, voices in your head. This is Jen and and make it all, make it all. Okay, no more jokes, no more jokes. I'm really doing good. Um, you know, I've been working on my spiritual practices. I've been doing a lot of ritualistic, magical practices. Um, I'm not going to get into big detail onto that because I want to, you know, build a foundation first before I go and teach about it. Um, but, you know, long story short, it's about developing your soul body to remember itself after death. <laughs> but moving on. Uh, so, yeah, I've just been working on that. Uh, you know... Ever since, for those of you that have watched my Quitting Kratom series, um, I am doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm just having a hard time finding my creative ability again. I'm having a hard time wanting to film videos. I'm having a hard time wanting to edit videos. Filming them, though, like, I, I'm having a very hard time doing that. But, you know, I've been doing other things. I've been doing birth chart readings, making a living off of that. So that has been a great thing for me. Um, I'm able to like record videos when I'm doing birth chart readings, but if I try and do anything creative, it's like, I feel like there's a block there. I feel like since being off of the Kratom, like my confidence level has dropped, but I am learning to rebuild that and I am gaining my confidence back up again. So, um, what's going on new with me? I kind of wanted to touch base on, you know, beliefs that we have and, how we as people need to be able to, you know, change our beliefs a little bit. Because if you don't change, if you are just like dead set on something and you aren't going to like let any other belief system or, you know, option come in, then you're not growing as a person. So what my belief was, was I told myself right after quitting my job as an addiction counselor and starting this YouTube channel, I was like, I am never working a real job again. I'm never doing it. I'm never going to work a regular job again because fuck that, fuck the system, fuck, 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 fuck. But, and you know, I wasn't looking for a job out. I did not want a job. I was, I'm making a living off doing natal birth chart readings, doing what I love. And you know, it's been really good, but you know, I'm not making as much money as I would like to because, you know, girls trying to save up for a tummy tuck, bro. Like, I don't know if you know this, but I used to be like 300 pounds. So like my stomach has a lot of extra skin. So I want to, I've, I've been having the idea I want to start saving for a tummy tuck. And, you know, reading birth charts right now are paying the bills and I'm able to save a little bit, but whatever. So out of the blue, one of my old co-workers, Cameron, Trump is such a fucking Nazi. Oh my God, stop saying that people at work are going to show their management this. You can't, <laughs> stop. Oh no! Contacted me and said that they were opening a new business next to a very popular bar in uh, my town and it was going to be run by the same people and that he wanted me to work there. So, and this was out of the blue. And... I just want to put in here that a mantra that I have been running in my head every single day is whenever I have a clear moment where I'm not thinking about what I have to do, I just repeat, everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. And I, it's a loop in my head. Whenever I have like stagnant energy, I just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. And you know, as soon as I start to worry about money, I get that <laughs> from Cameron, but you know, I didn't take it as a blessing at first. At first, when I first read it, I was like, this may be a test to see like if I'm going to run away from my goals just to, you know, work for the man again. But upon like meditating on it, upon thinking about it further, this could be a big opportunity for me because they want me to be a bartender. And I'm taking this as like, okay, yeah, I said I never wanted to work a regular job again because I'm doing, you know, the spiritual work, you know, light work to help people. I could bring that into my own community. I don't have to just do it through a screen. I could be a bartender and like talk this stuff with people that are interested in it. 
and I feel like I can reach more people that way. And I feel like this was a blessing in disguise and the synchronicities are just crazy. And, you know, to confirm that thought that I got through meditation, I consulted like my tarot deck because I've been learning how to do tarot as well. When you, when you get into all this, you know, weird type shit, astrology, spirituality, numerology, tarot, you find out it all correlates. You, you can't just learn one thing. I mean, you could, but everything, you know, comes into one, you know, you got to use aspects from all different spiritual beliefs, all different esoteric um, practices and magical practices. So I got some really good cards. I got the King of Cups next to the Fool. I write things on here. So that is the, um, the Hebrew letter for the Fool and it's Aleph. And you know, it's a start of a new thing. And the Ace of Wands. So these are really good cards. And you know, that I'm just, I'm excited to start this new chapter in my life. Hopefully it will kick me out of my funk. I haven't been in such a funk. You know, I've had really great days where my meditations are really starting to progress and I'm starting to feel the energy throughout my body during them, which I will um, explain in future videos. But yeah, I mean, and also another, another big announcement, I am now eligible to monetize my YouTube channel. But, you know, I decided because I couldn't find any good electional charts to do it on that I'm gonna wait. If you don't know what an electional chart is, wait for that video as well. So, I don't know. That's just a little freaking update of mine. I just feel like I wanted to post something so I don't, like, you know, go dead. But, yeah, I'll let everybody know how this job works out. And I feel like I can promote my business now. Now that I'm going to be a bartender and, like, you know, talking to a bunch of, bunch of different people, I can promote my business. I can sell birth chart readings to people, you know, and just spread the word. I just feel like I got to spread the message. I just had a mushroom trip a couple days ago and I recorded footage of it, like two hours of footage and I channel. So when I got into that state, I channeled a message of, ha ha, like I'm trying to upload the video right now from the trip, but it's not uploading for some reason. And the message that I got channeled to me was that there are negative energy forces that want to keep human beings in a low vibration, not able to evolve their spirits. And it was channeled to me and I kind of like was talking shit to the dark energy forces. I like, something spoke through me. Like it, it was not me. Like you saw it in my face that I changed and I just, Ooh, it, it was, it was crazy. Maybe I'll put a little clip in. And we're gonna, and we're gonna help others. We're gonna help others get out. Ha ha. Ha ha. Not only are we gonna get out, but we're gonna help others get out. Ha ha. Ha ha. And by get out, I mean, get out of this loop of reincarnation reincarnation like what reincarnation so what my belief is i'm not saying you have to believe this this is just my belief and i think it's right <laughs> for me so we come to this earth right and our goal is to develop our spirit develop our soul develop as a person and in an esoteric sense, you're supposed to develop your light body, not your physical body, not working out, which, but it does correlate, but develop your, um, your light body. So when you die, you are able to transfer your consciousness into that light body instead of being reincarnated and recycled because it's the belief that when we die, all of our energy, it goes back to source and there's no seed. Think of it like a tree. Think of god as a tree and the tree produces egg corns and you know egg corns drop but very very few of those egg corns i can't say that word, egg corns actually take root and develop into a tree itself the goal 
of this human experience is to develop into a tree, a God of our own, so we can remember, so we can remember ourselves. Because when we die, if we don't develop that light body, we're going to keep coming back to earth until we get the fucking message. And it, it it's becoming like a goal of mine. And it's a beautiful goal to have. Like I, like I said, a couple, I keep developing new downloads, new ideas, new missions. And I never thought even a couple months ago that I'd be into this type of shit. But the synchronicities are literally insane that have brought me to this path and I couldn't be more grateful. And even though I do suffer from, you know, periods of depression and isolation, I feel like it's all for a bigger reason and it's all for a purpose and it's all to help me in the end. And yeah, I mean, so that's what I've been doing. <laughs> um... Yeah. I don't know really what else to say. Are you already filming? Yes. I'm just telling them how I'm I'm a witch pal. <laughs> <laughs> what the Another big thing that happened for me is I became a vendor coordinator for my astrology association. They announced via email to the entire association that I was now the vendor coordinator. And honestly, when I went into that society the astrology association of my state i literally felt like i was like harry potter to them when they saw my chart when they saw my chart they're like oh ooh, and they all took an interest in me and i know now i i wasn't like you know too well versed in my chart at that point but i know now as a professional fucking astrologer that it was because my son saturn and north node all in the 11th house which means that i'm able to run a group and I think they think of me as like running their association someday because they're they're getting kind of old you know they're they're great like I love them so much and I'm learning so much from them and you know it's very great to see me going towards my north node because your north node you're that's what you're supposed to aim for in this life and my north node is in the 11th house of groups and organizations so you know I need to stop being so isolated. Like I do have my moon and Venus in the 12th house of, you know, isolation, hidden things, spirituality. And it's j I'm just learning to find the balance. You know, it's yin and yang. You can't be completely spiritual and completely isolated from your physical life because then your physical life is going to suffer. And when your physical life suffers, your spiritual life will suffer. You need to find balance between everything in your life. And I'm learning to do that, you know? And, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. I think that's it. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to try and create more content. And I just want to develop the skill first. I want to develop the skill of what I'm working on. Um, I'm following a specific practice, but I'm open to all, like Kabbalah and stuff like that. And it's kind of amazing. It's really amazing. And... I hope everybody is having a great life. All right, bye. This is Cosmic Drugs. Thank you for watching. If you want to know what it is, the matrix is Got a dub for that suits the case. Got diamonds like a play of ace. I'll run it up. You got shoes to lace. I'll ran it up just to lose some weight. I'm an early bird and you run it late. Working hard so I lose sleep. I won't sleep till the family eat. Went to Phoenix Avenue. I felt the heat. Got your girl in my box of briefs. I want all the smoke because I'm the chief. Execution if you're a thief.